Tapi uh, selepas mengharungi training camp macam mana melihat tim ni setakat ni? Uh, so far so good. Empat hari training camp yang saya rasa uh, cukup um, penting uh, because kita ada mission di uh, Arab Saudi dan kita mahu ke first step semi-final and then we will think about it later. But yang paling penting ialah first game kita perlu menang dengan Saudi, uh, Arab Saudi and then the next game is uh, our focus dengan Pakistan. Apa-apa kelainan yang maybe Steffi sendiri boleh rasa daripada tim ni dengan gabungan player-player baru juga macam mana diorang bantu? Uh, kalau kita lihat tim yang ini, this time we have uh, seniors daripada SEA Games and few new players daripada pasukan Sabah. So I think which helps a lot because uh, kita perlukan player-player yang sebenarnya mereka ni uh, experienced player cuma uh, dipanggil balik and I think it's a very good uh, combination to have uh, these new players and the senior players. Mm. Uh, for us, I think it would be a good exposure because um, to have this kind of uh, friendly match, international international friendly matches, I think it's a very it's very good exposure for myself and all the girls, and also we will gain experience, playing experience and playing against. Uh, tak ada lah kita nak pandai rendah. No, for for us, every all the teams are the same level, so we will not take it for granted and we will just go out and give our hundred percent. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, kita, kita kalau nak compare dengan um, the World Cup uh, jauh lah, jauh uh, level dia memang jauh. Tapi apa yang saya boleh terapkan uh, in this team is, um, I think kalau kita lihat pun mereka ada pasu, uh, players players yang players junior dengan senior juga. So which is gap pun lebih kurang team uh, Malaysia juga. So I think it's, it's good to have these young players and uh, older players. Because for me, I think um, combination tu pentingnya ada you know fitness and then our experienced players so benda ni membantu sebenarnya pasukan kita jadi lebih kuat. Uh, so kalau you tengok senior akan menuju ke Piala Asia and bawah 23 pun baru layak ke Piala Asia. So ada good, dia punya good vibe dengan bola sepak Malaysia and as women football you rasa you nak sertai kebanggaan ini tak? Of course, semestinya sebab I think um, kita pun lihat pasukan senior, pasukan under 23, they have good results and I'm sure this time pun we women's team, uh, national women's team, we want to get good results juga untuk for for national, for Malaysia lah basically. Yeah. And Steph, you tengok uh, sekarang ni ramai player kita dah semakin ramai keluar and you tengok maybe diorang adik-adik you lah hmm. untuk Yan, uh, Azurin of course, Amy Karania semua, you tengok apa macam perkembangan ni untuk bola sepak wanita? Okay, bagus sebenarnya kita lihat uh, many players are playing uh, outside apa uh, liga luar. So I hope uh, ramai lagi players kita nanti akan uh, bermain di liga luar so that I think because uh, pentingnya experience dengan exposure sebenarnya kalau bermain di liga luar. Actually for me bermain di liga mana-mana pun kalau banyak banyak gameplay, uh, game time so benda tu sebenarnya membantu. Play-play ni ada komunikasi dengan you macam dia minta pendapat ke kalau macam mana nak keluar tu nak terima tawaran. Uh, ada ada juga ada juga ada juga yang bertanya ya ya lagi push untuk ah mesti of course kalau presiden datang tu kita rasa it's a vibe energy dia tu lain sikit lah kan and um, memang positif lah players pun bila lihat Mr Presiden turun padang i think it's a very good um, good initiative from the from our president uh, thank you Datuk Amidin level <laughs> Playing field tu samalah between men's yeah, yeah. and women's Yes, betul. Sama. Same same treatment. Yeah. Okay, last. Boleh I request satu free kick goal nanti kat sana? Oh. Boleh. Saya pun nak. Itu saya punya target pun. Nah, no. Yes. Boleh, boleh. Make sure ada video. I'll do my very best for the team. Thank you. Thank you.